This program is brought to you by the Deeper Life Bible Church, located at 4C Norwich Avenue, Kingston 11. Coming up on today's broadcast. When Jesus called her name, that was the time she recognized it was Jesus Christ, her Savior. He is faithful and just to forgive. God cannot forgive what you do not confess. And very soon we shall see the 
King. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. There's, there's hope in King Jesus. There's hope in God. Reach out and touch him today. Let us all stand, brethren, as we reach out and touch Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Let us stand as I'm coming to a close. And we are going to be reaching out to God because he's calling our name at this time. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. In 1 John 3, verse 3, said, Every man that have this hope in Christ purifieth himself. And so, therefore, that's the only way we can have hope. Through Jesus Christ, when we come to him by faith. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Let us join me and sing this song. He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. Holy, holy. together today just to lift him up while others are busy doing other things so maybe at the beach right now so maybe at home just relaxing but we are glad to be in the house of God just to worship him just to honor him just to exalt his name on high because there is none like unto him he is God all by himself he's the omnipotent one we know there are persons who are listening to us now via Facebook and the altar call was made and we know that you we are not able to see you but you heard and you have responded you have responded to the call to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and a Savior and at this time I just wanted to take just a couple of seconds and just begin to talk with God just begin to say oh God I am here I have heard your word, and I realize my nakedness. I acknowledge how sinful I am, and you know the sins that you have committed. Confess them to God right now. Tell it to him. He is willing to forgive. It doesn't matter what that sin is. Others might say, oh, that sin is too much. Write you up. But guess what? God is not through with you. God is not through with you. 
So right now in your homes, where you are, listening to us, begin to confess your sins unto God. Begin to cry out unto him. Begin to tell it to him. Say, God, I am tired of living a life of lies. I am tired, mighty God and Father, of being so proud and arrogant. I'm so tired. Tell it to him. Tell it to him. That's what confession is. The Bible says we confess with our mouth. He is faithful and just to forgive. God cannot forgive what you do not confess. So confess it right now. And even though my sister gave the altar call and no one here came forward. But if right where you are now, you know that, guess what? Your life is not right with God. You confess those things to God right now. Confess your sins unto him. Confess it to the Father. Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And when you have done that, find yourself in a Bible-believing church and submit yourself to water baptism. Amen. And be prepared to receive the Holy Spirit. Father God, we are grateful to you for as many that are calling out unto you right now confessing the sins that they have committed against you. Father God, we are grateful that, Lord, you have convicted them and that, Lord, there is a willingness to submit to your authority and your leadership. Lord, we pray that as they confess these sins and believe in their hearts that you are forgiven, that you will grant to them the grace that they need to walk a life of holiness and righteousness before you in Jesus' name. God, we pray that, Lord, every condemnation will be removed right now in Jesus' name. Every guilt of sin confessed, Lord, let it be removed from their lives right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying that, Lord, you will help them. That, Lord, the accuser of the brethren will not be able, mighty God, to cause them to go back to the life that they lived and that which they have confessed. The accuser of the brethren will never be able to cause them to live a life of guilt and condemnation because, Lord, you have set them free and when the sun sets free, is free indeed. Mighty God, we pray that your spirit, your Holy Spirit, will minister to their spirit and confirm, mighty God, that they are now your sons and your daughters in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh God, we pray right now that, Lord, you will keep them. Keep them in your care. Keep them in your will. And, Lord, we pray that you will build them up and fortify them, that, Lord, they will never look back, but, Lord, they will press forward regardless of the situation. Mighty God, we pray for strength that whether life or death, blessing or whatever it is, principalities or powers, nothing will separate them from the love of Christ that they have found today in Jesus' name. Father God, we are praying that Lord, as many who are watching us, and Lord, they are so hardened. Lord, they are just there because this is something happening, but Lord, for some reason you will have them stay. Lord, we pray that those hardness of heart will be penetrated right now through your words that have been declared and will bring them to their knees in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for believers who are watching and Lord, they are living a life of fear. Every spirit of fear will bind you up right now. And we command you to lose them in Jesus' name. Amen. We do not have a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Let that be the portion of your children who are watching this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, we are praying that those right now who are struggling in one situation or the other, health issues, those of God who are depressed and oppressed, and they are hopeless. And the crisis seems to be coming, mighty God, in bundles. Right now, mighty God, we are praying for your mercy and your intervention. And that, Lord, you will touch mind, body, and spirit in 
Jesus' name. The Lord, you will free those minds and that the storms, oh God, are prevailing against them. We command it to cease right now in Jesus' name. Let us stand that, oh God, be lifted up right now. That Lord will protect them from the fiery darts and the attack of the wicked one. And Lord, we pray, oh God, that they will find hope, refuge, and Lord, their, their oasis in you, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray for those who have children. And Lord, they are sitting watching. And Lord, there's a sense of feeling hopeless that you know what nothing going to happen for these children. I've been praying for so long. And it seems as if the situation is just getting worse. The behaviors, the attitude. And no matter how you try to teach them and you try to train them, it's just like it's getting from bad to worse. But God, we agree. And we take authority over these children right now. Your word said that you will give us the ease and foreign inheritance. And Lord, right now we agree that Lord, these children that you have given unto us, they will not be pawns in the devil's hands, but they are for signs and wonders across the length and breadth of this world in Jesus' name. Lord, we speak to them and we command their behaviors to, oh God, conform to godly teaching, to good teaching in the name of Jesus. I will speak life over them, not just physical life, but spiritual abundant life in Jesus' name. Lord, those, oh God, who are contemplating even suicide right now, Lord, we rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. I will speak life and hope unto you in the name of Jesus. Arise right now. Arise right now out of despair. Arise right now out of distress. Arise out of depression. Be healed. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless all of us, we pray. Those of God who are in this building, those mighty God watching via Facebook, Lord, we pray your blessings upon us in the name of Jesus. I will pray, mighty God, that you will continue to sustain us, continue to keep us, continue, mighty God, to cause us to grow, oh God, from strength to strength in Jesus' name. May your words never be wasted on us, but God, let your word mold us and make us into who you, God, want us to be. And Lord, give us the grace that we need to run this race to the end and to be able to say we have fought the good fight and we know that there is laid up for us a crown of righteousness and Lord we pray that we oh God and Father will receive it at the end in Jesus name we pray Amen <laughs>
got the respect of any man, whether you are white or black, whether you are male or female, whether you are an intellectual or you are an illiterate, it doesn't matter to God. As long as an individual did not repent of his or her sin and be reconciled to his maker, he's surely going to hell fire. And this is why we all should be concerned. We all should be uh, active in evangelism, witness to somebody because you don't know who is going to die tomorrow. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. We hope this program was a blessing to you. Feel free to call us for prayer and counseling at 876-923-1040. Or 876 631 7108. Or you can WhatsApp us at 876 451 8509. You can also visit our church location at 4C Norwich Avenue, Kingston 11, on Sundays at 9 a.m. You can follow us on our social media platforms for more updates and sermons at Facebook. Deeper Life Bible Church Jamaica, Instagram Deeper Life Jamaica, and YouTube at Kingdom Life is Deeper Life. Join us next time for the Revival of Truth broadcast. Forever, forever, forever.